Now I want to show you two more very powerful notes. We start by adding a glossy shader. And now we get right to the twist. If we are an EV, we get access to the shader through RGB node. This will turn a shader into a texture basically, which means we can use it as a base for further processing steps. The shader to RGB node is commonly used to create cartoon or anime shaders. So let's create one together. We will add a color ramp node right after the shader to RGB node. It already looks kinda cool how the reflections turn grayscale, really makes the model pop somehow. But that's not what we're after. By setting the color ramp to constant, the input will only get mapped to the colors that are added as those markers without interpolation. So the output will only consist out of black and white right now. I will also increase the roughness of the glossy shader so the input for the color ramp is softened instead of only having a few tiny highlights from the lamp. I will change the black to a slightly dark gray and also add another slightly brighter gray. And when I further adjust the lamp, you will already see the cartoon shading effect. Now by adding a mixed color node and setting it to multiply, we can easily colorize the shader while maintaining the shading. Now we will add an ambient occlusion node. The output of it gives us a map of contact shadows within the model. We will add a color ramp again and set it to constant to make it fit the current art style. Now we duplicate the color mix node which is set to multiply and put the ambient occlusion onto our prior result. Now we have even more shadows showcasing the shape of our model. 